Hi there, family. Joseph's Sack of Grain is a weekly devotion for God's people by Pastor Joey Govender. When there was a famine, Joseph provided grain for his family and the masses around him. The grain sustained them. The Word of God is your grain and is vital for your spiritual growth, sustenance, and success. Here's today's edition of Joseph's Sack of Grain. Hi there, family. I'm excited to share the Word of the Lord with you today, and I pray that the Holy Spirit is going to bless you today in the name of Jesus. Acts chapter 2, the Bible says, When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And then it says, And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire, one sat upon each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. You know, after Jesus Christ ascended, the Bible says upon his ascension or before that, he said to them, listen, go and tarry in Jerusalem until you get the power from on high. In Acts chapter 1, 8, he said to them, you shall receive power after the Holy Spirit has come upon you. You'll be my witnesses, he said, in Jerusalem, Judea and Samaria and the uttermost parts of the earth. Jesus Christ was talking about the baptism and the Holy Spirit. This week, we're going to celebrate Pentecost Sunday. And I want you to know that we believe in the anointing. We believe in the power. We believe in the demonstration of the Holy Spirit. Zachariah said a long time ago, not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit of the living God. You see, I want you to know today the Holy Spirit and the anointing are synonymous terms. And we must understand that there is power in Christ. There is power in the Holy Ghost. And there is power in the anointing. I'll tell you what, my beloved, churches have become too secular. They think they can talk to you, give you motivational talks that will help you, give you nice poems and nice sayings and all of these things that will help you. They won't help you. Only the power of the Holy Spirit backed by the word of the Almighty God is what's going to get you out in this season and get you doing the things you want to do. And it's only by the power of the Holy Spirit. If you're in a place and they don't talk about the Holy Spirit, you're in trouble. If there's no demonstration of the Holy Spirit, you're in trouble. You better know that's God's power working in the church of Jesus Christ. And we're not ashamed of the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says, Jesus said, you're going to be equipped with power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. You see, my beloved churches have become lukewarm. No conviction, no conversions. Why? Because there's no power of the Holy Spirit. We have to see signs. We have to see wonders. We have to see miracles. They have not ceased. As long as there is a living God, as long as Jesus is alive, as long as we believe in the power of the Holy Spirit, there must be signs. There must be wonders. There must be miracles because that's the power of God working through his church. And I'm excited about that. And as you go into Pentecost Sunday, I pray that you will see the manifestation of the power of the living God in your circles. The Bible tells us the dis disciples waited in the upper room until they got the visitation from the Almighty God. You will have churches, you will have people, but I tell you there's a difference with spirit-filled people. Spirit-filled people are joyous people. They don't care what is happening. They rejoice in their tribulations. They rejoice in good times and in troubled times. I want you to know spirit-filled people love fellowship. You don't have to beg them to come to church. You don't have to hand out special gifts and make them feel nice and comfortable. They just enjoy fellowship because they filled with the spirit. Spirit-filled people love the word of the almighty God. They desire the word not secular things. They desire the word of the Almighty God. Let me also say to you, spirit-filled people love the power of the word of the Lord and they love the worship of God. They worship freely. It's not just singing and dancing. There is a worship from the heart, that, that, that worship that emanates from deep within that brings the glory of God into the house of the living God. They love to serve spirit-filled People serve. They serve with delight. Spirit-filled people are generous. You don't have to beg them for money. Spirit-filled people, they're witnessing people. And the Bible tells us 
that the Lord Jesus Christ said, wait in Jerusalem. And on the day of Pentecost, they waited and the power of the Holy Spirit was upon them that day. And Jesus said, you're going to receive power when the Holy Ghost comes upon you. I love this thing so much. I'm praying God's going to bless you. Have a great Pentecost weekend. And I'll talk to you again next week.